since October 2019 that show unopened boxes of space heaters that they say were supposed to be installed for tenants by the on-site manager, Jason Castile. Do your job, and the job wasn't done there. Fire investigators found 16 code violations, including missing smoke alarms and a bolted exit door. A record shows fire inspection was more than a year and a half before the fire, and the building had a history of failed inspections dating back to 2016. Gentile says if there were new violations, where were the city inspectors? Just from that pattern, one would infer that there have been an inspection. And the 22-page complaint also accuses the fire alarm company of negligence. The alarm system wasn't operating properly since late November 2019, and the lawsuit alleges it was largely ignored by the company. The alarm company doesn't tell you that the alarm's not working. And if the city doesn't come and tell you that you've got code problems, you're not the only one responsible. Tonight, we've actively reached out to all of the defendants listed on the complaint. So far, we've only heard back from the city, who says they do not comment on pending litigation. Reporting downtown, I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas. More local news now for the winter season. Inviting guests to check this gang. out. A cold they had to trap these people in this building that caught on fire. These are some new outdoor dining pods. And they trying to blame them for their negligence. I find it important based on I'm in the law game right now. And just trying to grasp how... A negligent slumlord who's been cited, who clearly is projecting and minimizing his responsibility by trying to blame the person where the fire started, by trying to blame the fire alarm company. Didn't you hire the fire alarm company? Did you neglect to fix the problems that the city cited you for? How could they even attempt to try to place the blame elsewhere when it's clearly because of the Lack of the manager that they hired. It's not our fault. We just own the place. And we put certain people in positions to prevent situations like this from happening. Now, I'm going to be boldly honest with something that may not be very popular. But let's be honest. 90% of the fault goes to the residents of the Alpine Motel. Not fairly, though. Not fairly. These people are barely surviving, have nowhere else to go. So thus, the management company, the owner of the Alpine, took advantage of these people's social dynamic situation, which is a violation of the Constitution because you cannot be discriminated on because of uh, colors, race, religion, or your social dynamics. So to say that this man who chose to heat his apartment complex or room with his stove instead of the clear heating aqueduct that was supposed to be placed in the building. They got the boxes of the heating equipment prepared to be placed in the apartments or in the, the hotel room. And they got the nerves to say that it's the people's fault that were pretty much Neglected by the manager, the owner, and you want to go deeper by the city that cited these people a year and a half ago before the fire and never came back to ensure that the citations, that the corrective actions were made to remedy the citations that was made against. So if we keep it real, people that was in that Alpine fire, I would be looking at first and foremost. Going after everybody the owner going after. The city for not coming to make sure that the place was in compliance and code, up to code. If I was just living in that Alpine when that fire happened, 
I would be going after the manager and the company who hired the manager, which is evidently the owner, the management company, who are projecting and minimizing the blame of this situation. But that's just why I want to get in the law game, because it's so easily to intimidate individuals that aren't, should I say, legally literally, literate. It's a lot of people illiterate to the law. That's why so many people in jail. Like I said on a post of mine on Facebook, you can't follow the law if you don't know the law. So now what's going on is these are major infractions, violations, legal grounds for criminal actions. That's like manslaughter. You made a death trap for these individuals as the landlord. With a, a, a specific list of responsibilities that you have to adhere to as a owner, property owner, tenant, landlord. So for you as the negligent owner who hired a negligent manager and refused to fix the city citations, y'all are going down. But at the same time. Individuals that was in that situation should also look at suing the city for allowing this death trap after so many documentations to still continue to, to operate as a business. So if anybody's listening, anybody know anybody that was involved in the Alpine fire a few years ago, I would suggest that you tell them people to go holler at a lawyer like ASAP and see about city's liability in the situation. With that said, I'm an Inglewood up out of here.